Hi, welcome back to Mr. C's e-bike. This video is going to be kind of an extension of my last video, the Great H8 one year, because I rambled so much through that I didn't get every, everything said that I want to get said, which is all right, because now I get to split it up into two shorter videos, and I know you guys like that. Well, first thing first, the same as the last video, if you're seeing this, subscribe. I got to get more people subscribed to me so the bike companies will start sending me stuff. I mean, they don't want to send me bikes if they're like, well, nobody's going to see your videos. Even though my videos, I do one bike over and over and over till it's got tens of thousands of views, even if I only have 400 subscribers. But Anyways, trying to get keep this back on track, I'm going to start right at the front of this bike. I'll try to put a picture down here somewhere. It's got the M5 LCD display, which has your speed and your battery, your, well, your battery meter. You can also see the battery voltage. It's got the sub menu where you can go in and change all your settings to get the most out of your bike and if you go in there and completely screw it up they have a pdf file for this bike where you can just go through and line by line and put it all back to right and that it's got a half twist throttle with a keyed ignition the battery is 48 volts 22 amp hours going to two 22 amp controllers feeding out to the front and rear 1000 watt motor which the, that's a 35 mile an hour bike with 35 mile an hour motors and it doesn't matter how many motors you put together it's 35 miles an hour but with the torque that multiplies and each motor puts out 82 newton meters of torque and with that, you got 164 newton meters of torque, which this thing will leave, I mean, from the start, it'll leave just about anything else, well, anything else with just the rear wheel drive in the dust. And starting back up at the front, it's got unbranded zoom brakes. They're hydraulic single piston with 170 millimeter brake rotors. The tires are 26 by 4 and it's not really a mountain bike because I think of the tires but I mean it'll go anywhere you want it to go. And the only, the only downfalls that this bike really had was the front sprocket it had well, a, a 21 speed system had the three in the front, the seven in the back. And I think the front, the largest chain ring was 42 or 43 tooth. I don't remember now, but I changed this out for a 40 or yeah, for a 53 tooth, which gets rid of a lot of that ghost pedaling. And other than that, the, that, I would have liked to have seen a little bit bigger controllers in it, but I mean, that would have turned it into a completely different animal, giving it another five amps on each controller. And other than that, you get, if you squeeze every last mile out of this battery, you can get around 70 miles. If you just jump on it and you go as fast as you can with the throttle, you get around 30 miles out of it, which is which is awesome. I mean, if, if you use it for a commute, I mean, you're not going to want to go more than 15 miles to work. And I mean, even if, if you do, I mean, you pedal a little bit, it wouldn't be hard to get 20, 25 miles to work and still have enough battery to come back. What else can I say about it? It's got a nice bright headlight that I'm going to have to show picture of that down here or move the camera 
one of those two things is going to happen. And it's also got a tail light on it that, that lights up when your lights are on and that uh, gets brighter when you squeeze the brakes. It's got adjustable front suspension with the lockout. And it comes with a rack that's not this one, which I may put up a picture of that too. Comes with the foam holder with a charge, a charging port. All right, sorry, I was I was distracted by the mailman. <laughs> but anyways, the bike weighs just under 80 pounds. It'll hold a rider of 330 pounds. And it's recommended for riders from five foot two to six foot four. And five foot two, I don't, you may be a little short. I know my son-in-law rides it and he's 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and he does fine. And I, me at 6'2", I, I think a rider at 6'4 would be comfortable on this. I mean, they might have to get the, the adjustable stem for it. But, I mean, I, I can put the seat up too high for me. So, 6'4 isn't a stretch. And other than that, I, there's not really more any more specifications for this video. I can tell you that it's, it's a badass bike. If you didn't watch the first, the video, the Great H8 one year, go back and watch that one too. Actually, go back and watch all of them. I beat the crap out of this. And subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell people you don't like. Tell your parents. Tell your brother, sister, that everybody subscribe. I just need the numbers to go up. So they'll start sending me bikes. Then I can start giving you guys more videos and more bikes. So thanks for watching, and now here comes a different mailman. But thanks for watching, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, hit the bell. Right, sorry for cutting you guys off, but I keep getting more stuff and more stuff. I got one free thing that, well, it's a heated jacket. I don't know if I'm going to do a review for, on that or not, because it's kind of doesn't go, but it's getting cold out and you want to stay warm on your bike. Maybe I'll use it and ride around. And if, if it's actually really good, I'll make a video. It's one of the more pricey ones though. So I don't know, but thank you for watching. Subscribe, tell everybody, you know, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.